Are you a developer that struggles making buildings for your own games? Whether that be simulator buildings or fantasy buildings. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step on how you can make your own unique buildings. I will also give some tips on what I do to make my buildings. Before we get right into the video, I'd like for you guys to please like and subscribe. Only 7% of you guys are subscribed and I hope that percentage could go up. Also check out my Discord server and my Twitter, they will both be in the description below. I want to start off by showing you guys how to make fantasy buildings. Fantasy buildings, I like to use references, especially references from Pinterest. This is a great way to get used to making buildings. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use my imagination to make the fantasy building. Don't feel ashamed to use references, they're also a great way to learn. As you guys can see, I'm in Blender right now. What I'm going to do is go up here and just turn on cavity mode. And also, I'm going to select this as both. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm just going to scale up the part uh, on the X axis and also on the Y axis something like this and i'm just going to bring up the top face up it's like this i recommend scaling the bottom face a little bit down you don't have to do this but it's just to make it look a little bit cool so now what you're going to do is just add a loop cut in the center of the block and just like the top edge right here in the middle and just bring it up just like this and just like the edges on the sides and just scale it on your y axis scale it like around here that should be good now what that basically does is get the basic shape of the building or fantasy building and it allows you to start working on the roof now the next thing i recommend doing when you're making a fantasy building is adding pillars to the building the roof pillar what you're just gonna do is like the edges right here the front edges of the building duplicate it scale it out bring this down just a little bit and extrude just like this when you do that what you're gonna do is scale this on your y-axis just like this bring it out a little bit something like this and extrude right here still look something like this and just add two loop cuts on the left and the right bring it down and if you want you don't have to you can bevel it so now for the next step, what you're going to do is actually add the uh, pillars for the edges of the building. So now, just go on your side views, add a cube, just like this. Bring it to around right here. Scale down however much you want. And then just align it right here. After you do that, just select the top face and just drag the pillar to around the um the roof area just like this now to add all the pillars to each side of the building you're going to basically do the same thing that you did right here with the roof once you added your mirror modifier what you're going to do is just like this right here and click on the uh, main part of the building and it should do something like this now what you're gonna do is select this axis right here, the y-axis, and it should add pillars to the other side too. And then just apply it. Making root tiles is a little tricky, but just watch what I do. So what you're gonna do is add a cube, bring this out, scale it in on this z-axis, just like this. And then go into edit mode, grab a face of the, the cube, scale on your y-axis like this, and just bevel it. And if you want to, you can add a loop cut. So after you're done designing your roof tile, what you're going to do is just duplicate a um, piece of a tile, rotate it on the z-axis 90 degrees, bring it close to the building, just like this. I recommend starting at the top part of the roof, just like this. And then now what you're going to do is go into modifiers. Once you're in modifiers, what you're gonna do is just click on a ray modifier right here. Make this zero. And then after that, just bring this to your um around the, your y-axis and just ray it as many times as you want. For me, I usually do something like four and just scale it down to fit in uh your root tiles. I messed around with the root tiles a little bit, but yeah, that's what I got. I just scaled some of the root tiles out, I made some of them bigger. And yeah, so basically what you're going to do now is just do the same thing for the next uh, root tiles. 
So it's like this skeleton and you, something like this would work. After you do that, what you're gonna do is just like the two root tiles that you made and just go on your sides, duplicate it and just bring it down. Maybe just duplicate it one more time for this. Also make sure to fix up openings for the root tiles. And you should have something like this. After you do that, just go to modifier. Uh, add a mirror modifier. Just like this. Click that. And then boom. There we go. Now to fix this top part right here, just go into edit mode and bring up the edge just a little bit, just like this. And then what you're gonna do is just add a part or a cube, bring it around here, scale it down, just like this. And select this face right here, bring it over here, and bring it down just a little bit right here. And if you want, you can just bevel it. Just like this. Boom. Also, uh, chase with if you want. So for the window, what I like to do is add a cube. I scale it on its y axis, on its x axis, actually. Just like this. And then I get the top face and I scale it out on its y axis. And after that, extrude the front face in. Just like this. And make sure it's evened out by stretching it on the z-axis and the y-axis and just extrude it in just a little bit after that maybe just fix here a little bit i think i brought it out a little too much there you go and then um i duplicate the inside to make the actual uh window itself and I duplicate the bottom part to make the window frame. Extrude. I'm gonna make this a little thicker. There you go. There. I place the window next to the side of the root tile. Um, for this part, you can place the window wherever you want on the building. I'm gonna put one in the front one over here and probably another in the back once you place the windows on the building what you're gonna do is select the center the inside part of the windows press ctrl l to select all of it all the faces click uh cl press p and click selection for the building's door what i like to do is add a cube i stretch it on its x-axis just like this and I bring it to exactly where the front of the house is and scale out however wide I want it to be I think something like this is good after that um, I select I select the edges right here and I just bevel it there we go <clears throat> And after that, I just extrude this part in, just like this. I also just face this up. And then I remove this part right here. I go on my, um, my wireframe. I make sure I scale this all the way down, just like this. Also, um, I recommend making this part thicker. It's way too skinny because right now this right here is really skinny. There we go. Something like that should be good. And I just fill this part right here. Actually, um, <laughs> I just fill that, fill that in. There you go. I duplicate this. Just like this. And then um, I add loop cuts right here to add load designs to the door's edges.
There we go. I also make sure to separate the the door's edges away from the door itself. Just to make the door look less bland, I add a cylinder. Basically, I'm just gonna make um a more rounded out window. But yeah, I add a cylinder. I'll go into edit mode, scale it down. It's like this. I select the um, top face, shoot, shoot it in. It's like this. Shoot it in as well. There you go. Uh, make sure to duplicate to make the actual window. After that, I added in a part. This is to make the window frame. <coughs> like that. <clears throat> Should be good. There we go. And I just bring this in. I'm gonna start detailing the actual inside of the door because right now it's like it's very boring. Um what I'm gonna do is add a part. It's like this, scale it in, scale right here. This would be like a little um iron bar for like the door handle and stuff. And I think below this, what I'm gonna do is add wood planks. It's like this. Should be good. Actually, I think if I leave this part as wood instead, it'll look better. There you go. But yeah, nothing too crazy. You know, just it gets the job done though. For the door handle, what I'm gonna do is add in um a cylinder. It's like this. Bring it out. Scale it in. Extrude this. It's like this. Bring down the segments it in again and boom set the door oh this part kind of messed up <laughs> sorry there you go and yeah i'm just gonna bring this in let's go down just a little bit there we go now for the next step what i recommend doing is separate each part from the door it's like this part this part all they're just like separated away from each other before i export this to roblox studio what i recommend is check go right here if the if it shows red on anywhere on the building then make sure you're going to ed mode for that specific part select everything and press shift n and it should fix this what this basically means is that the face uh, the model is uh, turned the wrong way. So I have the building here in Roblox Studio. What I'm gonna do is play a quick time lapse of me coloring the building. That's the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. I'll make a part two uh, of me making the simulator building. I wasn't able to make the simulator building in this video. Um, I don't really have much time. It's really just me editing my videos. So it's a lot for me to do. I'll put the download to the building in my Discord server. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.